Hello everyone, welcome back to channel once again. So today I'll be sharing one more uh, team in the flying cup and uh, what I suppose uh, this is kind of the similar team that I have shared in my last video just this team is kind of uh, replacing Mantine with Skarmory uh, because of its typing and its bulk. So uh, Skarmory will be resisting the rock rock moves coming from this aerodactyl and this team is built around that so the team uh, strategy for this is kind of ebv because uh, i have got a lead of skarmory a uh, safe swap of uh, altaria over here that uh, will be trying to draw out the ice type or maybe a rock type uh, partial rock or partial ice type uses and so that um, so that my Emolga can go on a free run in the end game. So this, this is the stream strategy over here and uh, this team is kind of well rounded as well because uh, Aerodactyl uh, does not like Aerodactyl does have a very good matchup on my backline but it uh, hard loses to my Skarmory over here. So alignment over here is very important and what I have uh, felt is like this is the most consistent team uh, for me in the flying cup and i did not try out uh, so many like did not try out many teams but uh, still i felt this is the most consistent team because of its bulk uh, coverage uh, everything as you guys can see the rating for this team is a b a a which is really really great and the threat score is really lower which is 359 so uh, if you can if you can handle uh, correct alignment along with energy this team can perform really well so without further more delay let's get straight into the battles and check out how this consistent team performs so now hopping into the first battle i have got a lead of mandibus with my scar buddy so uh, this is not a very great lead because mandibus is really tanky and spammy because it is running snarl along with foul plays so this foul plays will add up onto my scar buddy but it will uh, almost take around uh, three foul plays to take me out so i now i'll be going for the first move over here which is going to be the brave bird and then i'll be bringing uh, my altaria to catch the next foul play which is really great because now I can easily take the foul plays and I'll be going for the hard farm and this is the reason I came back with my uh, Altaria over here because uh, to lure out the Aerodactyl in my opponent's team over here so this is going to uh, be the next sky attack which does does draw, draw out the shield first shield from my opponent's end so now uh, I'll be safely coming back and shielding the next uh, maybe ancient power over here and I'll be going for the hard farm so this is uh, going to be a really uh, great thing because I drew out the Aerodactyl which allows my Emolga to go on a free run. So now I'll be going for the next Sky attack before my uh, opponent does reach to a foul play which will be enough to get the knockout but let's see. So my, my, my opponent does shield over here which allows me to come back with my Emolga over here and catch a charge move onto it. So Emolga can easily tank foul play and uh, my opponent just recognizes their feet that Emolga will be going to uh, wrap his game up and they top lifts it. So that's that's going to be a really great game ggs moving into the next match i catch a lead of aerodactyl over here which is really great and this swaps into their own altaria over here so altaria uh, so i'll be also safe swapping into my altaria because uh, i don't have a really hard counter to altaria over here and i cannot stay with my skarmory here also because skarmory uh I, I will be needing my Skarmory to handle the Aerodactyl over here. And now I'll be going for the straight Moonblast which my opponent does let it go and it does get the knockout for the Altaria because of the partial uh, uh, dragon typing on it. So to which I'll be coming back with my Skarmory over here and I can easily tank one move. Maybe it's a Rock Slide or Ancient Power but I do end up giving my first shield to it because I don't want my Skarmory to get very low and uh, my then then the erectil can easily farm down so to which they comes back with their own skarmory over here and after throwing a brief uh, after throwing a uh, sky attack i'll be going to switch into my own emolgo over here and going for the next discharge so let's see my opponent does shield over here which is fine for me and uh, now uh, i think we both are facing a bit of lag to which my opponent does get to a charge move over here so this is suppose a sky attack or a brave bird which it is and brave bird does land over here for massive damage to which uh, i tried to farm uh, quite a quite a more energy but uh, now i'll be going for the next discharge which is really 
going to pressurize the shield over here and I'll be going for the hard farm onto this defense like defense lowered Skarmory and they tried to sack their own Skarmory over here uh, with the Aerodactyl but I was quite anticipating that catch so that is the reason I hold on to the energy over here and since now they came back with their very low Skarmory over here and I shielded their sky attack to which I'll be going for my own sky attack which will be enough to get the knockout and get the win for the second game for this set here also that is going to be a really great game GG's to my opponent Moving into the next matchup, I have again got a lead of uh, Aerodactyl over here and the safe swaps into their own uh, Altaria. So now since they safe swapped a bit later, I will be going for the hard hitting move of Brave Bird over here after casting a sky attack which is really nice because uh, this is uh, like that's how I can uh, hold on to my shield and I'll be going for the, for, for the brave bird over here and I guarantee the first shield from my opponent which is really nice to which I'll, now I'll be coming back with my Altaria over here and this is going to be the next sky attack which I can easily tank and I can easily go for the farm down but uh, since I was not quite sure if I could farm down so I'll be throwing the next sky attack which will be enough to get the knockout for this uh, for this very low Altaria over here and it comes back with their own uh, Artigon over here. So this team is actually uh, double weak uh, on the back line to my Skarmory over here because of the ice and rock typing uh, onto the Articono and the Aerodactyl over here. So now I'll be going for the next sky attack to which I do get the final chill from my opponent here as well. And this is going to be the next uh, I believe ancient power which I do have to s uh, s shield over here because Imolga is kind of uh, like squish it to this uh, ice and rock attack so that is the reason i'll be going for the next thunderbolt but i got a same tie over here so this is going to be the first ice event which will uh, deal super quick damage so i have to invest my final shield to it and let's see i'll be going for the hell mary thunderbolt and it does not care knock out the articuno but a couple of thunderbolts to win me the game over here so that is going to be a really great game so Hopping into the next battle, I have got a terrible lead of Imolga over here. So that is the reason I will, I will be safe swapping into my own Altaria and here also I am getting hard counter because they came back with their own Altaria counter being Togekiss. So since they are actually running Charm, I will be going for the hard hitting nuke of uh, Moonblast over here which uh, does almost 70% of the Togekiss's health. So this is going to be a tough battle because now I can come back with my own uh, Skarmory over here after burning down the switch clock. Now they goes for the ancient power. So since uh, they are kind of defense weighted so that is the reason I will be letting the first charge move go through and now they comes back with Altaria once more. Beg your pardon the uh, Imolga once more to which I'll be letting the first discharge go through because I can easily tank and I'll be going for the Brave Bird this time. So uh, if Brave Bird does land over here or maybe it does get the f first shield from my opponent which it does over here I'll be uh, trying to come back with my Imolga over here because uh, Imolga uh, does have a winning matchup with shield advantages over here with the mirror Imolga. So I'll be going for the hard hitting nuke of Thunderbolt which my opponent does let it go and they have their own Skarmory onto their backline which does not have any play with a double shielded uh, Imolga over here and they top plays the game giving me the win for this fourth battle here as well. This is That is going to be a really great game. So now moving into the next matchup I have got a mirror lead of Skarmory. So I really like to play this match out in a different way because first I'll be going for the like uh, sky attack and now then after after charging a bit of extra energy uh, as, you, as you guys can easily see over here I am charging almost uh, up two sky attacks over here I'll be going for the first sky attack now and after landing the first sky attack I will be going for the brave bird this time which will be guaranteeing the uh, guaranteeing the knockout for the mirror skarmory but we does uh, we do face a lag over here so this is going to be the next sky attack which I can easily tank and now I'll be going for the Hail Mary Brave Bird so if Brave Bird does land over here it will be ensuring the knockout for the uh, opposing Skarmory but barely enough so that is the reason I went for the next Steel Wing which will be enough to get the knockout and they comes back with their own Shadow Aerodactyl over here so now 
I will be coming back with my Altaria over here which as you guys can see I have got a glitch over here so I cannot throw the moves this time and we do face some lag also so to which I will be trying to snipe down the uh, opposing shadow Aerodactyl with my Emolga over here here and let's see what my opponent does have onto their backline so they do have a Altaria of their own and let's see I stopped tapping for a quite uh, like few seconds uh, for them to get back to the battle and now since they got back I'll be going for the hard hitting move of Thunderbolt and let's see uh, this is going to be the first I believe sky attack but I will not uh, challenge this time oh yeah I do challenge this time and I let the first sky attack go through which is going to be registered and I'll, now I'll be going for the uh, bait move of Discharge. So discharge does give me the first shield from my opponent and let's see if I can get to one more discharge which I do get to end time which will be allowing uh, my opponent to give their final shield and now I'll be coming back with my Altaria over here uh, Altaria over here to snipe it down with the moon blast and this Altaria goes down and in case giving me the win for the final battle here also. So as I've already mentioned this team uh, is being it has been the most consistent team in the flying cup and if you guys are using this team do let me know how it is working out for you and see you again in the next video till then peace